Yes. Alafu, have you guys heard about the Kenyan Tarzan? Yep. About that boy who got lost while herding cattle with his brothers. I don't know if he, it was with his brothers uh -huh. or he was just alone, but he got lost mm -hmm. in the Savo mm -hmm. while herding livestock. Uh -oh. All of four years old. <gasps> oh, yeah, I've seen the. <sighs> and he was in the wilderness for six days. And he said, Yanni, our own Tarzan, and you know, the state of him when he was found, you can just tell he was very traumatized and very sad yeah. and everything. But at the end of the day, boy, boys will be boys. Because sure. this boy stayed in the wilderness for six days. Damn, with the lion. Six, Yanni, with wild animals and everything. And he was found safe. And I was like, wow, boys, boys, like, what can they not do? Wow. Okay, what can they not do? Mm -hmm. If you haven't heard that story, go and check it out online and see that cute boy. He looks so cute. And he looks so healthy. He was just a bit dehydrated, mm -hmm. but he looked like, like he really took care of himself. So the question to you is, you who lives in the city, if your son was to get lost in the wilderness today, what would happen? What would, would, they, would they know what to eat? The right um, fruits and herbs and shrubs and everything. How, would they survive? I mean, they would just sit there and wait for the signal to come so they can call you. I don't know what's happening. You know, what would happen if your child got lost? You know, the problem with, with being in the wilderness, it's like even back in the day, when we just moved to Roy, mm -hmm. there were spots you would go to when it was like very few houses around, yeah? Mm -hmm. So there's a spot you would go to and you would feel like you're literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. If you take a left turn, instead of taking a right turn, you find yourself next to zebras mm -hmm. and hyenas. Like, that's how crazy it used to be back in Kamulu before everyone started buying shaba maguta maguta, eh? Mm -hmm. Shaba maguta maguta uku kwenye ulikuwa na uziwa. Something sasa. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so my point is, I can imagine, like, even if he, he was trying to find his way home, he probably got even more lost. Because it's like, all you see is bush and sun. That's mm -hmm. all you see. Mm -hmm. So it's like the confusion of all of that. He was found 15 kilometers <laughs> away from his home. That is far. <laughs> that is that far. That is Bali. Yani, that is far. He had to walk. Exactly. And you're probably kidoko. even walking towards the opposite direction yeah. because you're not quite sure where you're going. Where you're going. But I'm so happy he was found. It would yeah. have been a tragic story, but we're happy, okay? Yeah, Take really that as a good luck charm, okay? It's luck on our way. It's really cool. Exactly. However, if you were planning on going to Indonesia during the holidays, mm -hmm. be careful. Because you might just go there and uh, with your boo thing, pretending the way you are boo thanged and you are not married and find yourself in a situation where you cannot twat twat twat. Mm -hmm. Because the Indonesian government has decided to ban fully sexual intercourse between people that are not married. Eh? Both out of a marriage and pre-marital. For what reasons? They said religious reasons. And because it is just for the purposes of reducing, was it prosecution? Like for, they said it was basically for religious reasons for the most part. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I'm just like, what? They mm. were saying, I want to go to Bali. Hmm? The way I was over there saying, because I could to Indonesia, I could Indonesia. Wow, wow, I was wrong so i don't know what do you think about the whole thing i think it's very it's not refreshing just for locals, yeah it's for tourists as well if you're caught you can be in prison for one to three years nah. i think it's going to be a very safe space for the most part you know like you could just but also why are you forcing marriage down our throats you know maybe I'm, i just want to have a good time are you saying that me who wants to have a good time with kamau and joroge and kipsang and everyone does it mean that i am a shower what's happening like why are you trying to put labels on us i feel like we're on this earth for such a limited time it would be so tragic for you to limit yourself to just one person because the government said so i because those politicians, are they doing the same thing? Yeah. Or is, is this just a blanket law to show the morality of the people and everything? Mm, morality police. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting thing. But for me, it's, it feels like more of a human rights violation. Because mm -hmm. remember that the, the hierarchy of needs, mm -hmm. basic needs. Apachini, it's na food, water, shelter, and what? Twa twa. So why are they trying to refuse to let people twa twa? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now, when you nani sasa, mimi ni nitangu wa kathomi kathomi. And this is Ibru TV. And of course, you're chilling with ourselves. And the number you can catch us on is always down here. And socials are always down here. Exactly. And today's show, hey, ni kama tuna dissect marriage. Actually, just for today, let us rebrand as Let's Talk 
marriage talks because we're going to be dissecting the marriages of a few people. And number one on that list is Nadia Mukami and Araboy. Uh -oh. Are they broken up or uh -oh. is it just Kiki before they drop another banger? We're going to find that out. And also Nika the Queen is defending her marriage. See, she has said, okay, she has said that no report formed against her and her way shall prosper, okay? Back to sender, you and your haters. And last but not least, we have Terence and Millie talking about the marriage expectations they had. Where we can get a relationship, ulkuna fikiria tuatua ni sikungapi. Like every day tuatua. Indonesia watasafa. Anyway, all this and more on Hot Talk. Now, singer and musician Nadia Mukami has for the long t longest time been linked to Arrow Boy. They even have a bouncing baby. I don't know the gender. Is it a boy or a girl? They just uh, had they a, baby a baby. Yeah. Yes, they have a baby together. <laughs> it's a healthy baby. We're happy for them. And first of all, the speculation of their relationship started in 2020. We've been told it's a baby boy. In 2020, people would link them together. Bloggers would talk about it. And they would come and deny it. When Asama, denial is a river in Egypt. We are not together. And they constantly kept talking about, listen, we're just friends. We're working together. You did. And then in 2021, they confirmed that Kumbe Hao ni Chanda na Pete. So the haters can go hate on themselves. And we were happy for the most part because these are two people in the same industry. Uh, it would be very tragic for you to be in a different industry, falling in love with a person in another different you know, industry, and you're trying to make these things work. But these people looked happy together. We've never seen drama about them. We've not seen drama about Nadia Mukami or Arrow Boy because let's be honest, male celebrities in Kenya have a certain reputation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they have a very clean brand going on and we were happy. But on Thursday, Nadia decided to shock us. Nakombia, nilisikia did come and it's my relationship because like unprompted, on her social media, she posted, just to clarify to the guys who are trying to book Arrow Boy and I, I have run out of lies. We have not been together for a while. We broke up. Kindly contact individual management for boogings. One love. And I'm like, what's this? We had, you know, it, it, we didn't know. We were not even speculating. Other than the fact that you guys had not been posting pictures together and were not in the same spaces at the same time. We really didn't know what was going on. And given how you guys have your own family going on, honestly, we didn't know you guys had broken up. So for her to come out and say, we've broken up, I've, uh, you know, I, I'm tired of lying to manage, to different people who are trying to book us together for gigs, yidi yidi yada, it just came off as kiki. I just saw it and I thought, are these people are about to drop another song? Walisema tutawachana, lakini tuko pamoja. <laughs> Just because I don't post you on social media, doesn't mean you're away. Anyway, feature me, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Brandy. Feature me, Nadia, on your upcoming song when it comes through. If it is indeed true that you guys have broken up, that is very tragic, but I hope you guys are also happy in your own individual situations. We don't want to see bitter baby mama drama. It's uh -uh. Yeah, but it was like, mm, it felt uncalled for because mm -hmm. she could have... Yeah, she could yeah. have handled that better. You like, know, there's like, so many ways of dealing with that, you mm -hmm. know, that, that aren't this loud. Yeah. You know, because now you're basically calling out all the dogs on you. It's like you uh, attack, attack, attack me. Mm -hmm. You're going to have all the women saying, oh, we knew you're married. All the men and women who are trolls online going like, oh, we knew your marriage wasn't going to last mm -hmm. because you stole him from another woman. Now he's been stolen by now. You know, like there's a lot which is going to come at you. So I'm, I'm not sure why you decided to put the target on yourself, a big target on yourself, mm -hmm. a big mark on yourself for what reason. So I think it may just be Kiki. That's what I think. Yep. But these are just my, my thoughts. You know, at the end of the day, if it is truly what is going Going on if they truly aren't together then you know it's it's too bad they were a cute couple they just had their child she's been working on her body she's been working on her herself mm -hmm. and to get herself physically back to where she was she cut her hair like many changes have happened with Nadia in the past couple of uh, weeks mm -hmm. and many things have also happened with Arab boy he's been performing a lot he's been out here getting the bag and it didn't seem like anything was going on with them truly by the way it's just the fact that we didn't see the pictures together but ultimately we wouldn't have made any speculation. So I think 
the way she's handling this is a bit it, 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 it's giving you wanted us give, to have a conversation attention. about yeah. it it's yeah. basically giving i need attention for something is coming that's what it feels like to me but mm -hmm. again because knowing nadia she she doesn't like people revealing her information of you of your remember what happened when, when Jalas. the boy jealous decided to unleash their pregnancy story and how angry they were and it went on for a long time and now she's just suddenly going to tell us that she's broken up with our boy i don't know it's suspicious suspicious mm -hmm. but again if they have broken up it's kind of bad or you know you know, but then again, open season, open season for the people who wanted to date her, open season. Uh, moving on to another very interesting conversation. It is the ex of Ofueneke and the the new wife of uh, DJ Slava. Uh, is it Slava or Slava? How do you pronounce it's that? It's giving Slava because it's Slava Don. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've heard his DJ Slava. I've heard it somewhere <laughs> and I love to see it. 